My name is Todd Ford, and this is my story. I'd stayed dressed that night. It was about 9 o'clock, stayed dressed, and just had a feeling that, that somebody was going to come by. Knock on the door, and there were two fulsome police officers. I opened the door, and I said, I've been waiting for you guys. I was being charged with assault with a deadly weapon. And there was a warrant issued for my arrest. It was a Sunday morning was uh, at Lakeside by myself, and the vibe of being in church, just it wasn't there. As I was driving back towards my house, I uh, was passing a job site that we had recently finished, and my apprentice's truck was there. Years prior, we had, we had an incident where, we, where guys had used my business to basically jumpstart their business by stealing and taking parts and tools and um, customers with them and now here's this kid that I trained and you know been on every family trip with me and everything that had known about the past and here he is from what I can see doing the exact same thing. I knew I was gonna do something. I knew that I was going to I knew I was gonna make a statement. He dropped his shoulder and it just swung hard. I don't even remember watching the follow through, almost like I closed my eyes as I was coming around. One second you're standing there, the next second you see a, a movement and the next second I was hovering over him screaming at him, using words that you wouldn't use when you just came from church. It's real when they call your name and you're standing and you're standing up in the court and you're and it's really real when you hear that that clickety clack of of some handcuffs going on you and and, and um, you know and it's real when you're driving a van there's no lights no windows no nothing it's just pitch black and you're transferred from the courthouse to the main jail you can't walk away. I think we always talk about being broken. And I was at that point, you know, where you're like, where's the low? That day was the low. At that point, in that morning, I truly felt like I went from being a believer on the outside to a believer on the inside. And that's when I, I got, I truly feel like a second shot at life. So here we are three years later, taking a business that we started in my driveway in Folsom. And now we are in this 10,000 square foot fabrication facility where we build the most awesome things. We take just your standard basic trailer and we create it into somebody's mobile business. You dream it, we build it. That's the motto here. There's a, there's a certain respect level that I have for somebody that can walk in here and say, hey, I'm changed. I wasn't that way yesterday. And that's me going, you know what, I've changed. The guys that I hire that have just got out of prison or or within a certain period of time, they will work as hard as they can for you. They want that second chance. I think Jesus offers a second chance to anybody, everybody. He dies for my sins and he's my savior and he's the reason why you don't have to go through what I went through to realize that you're getting a second chance. As we said before, I went from being a Christ follower on the outside to a Christ follower on the inside. I'm still working on it, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm still working on a lot of things. I'm still a work in progress, but I'm, I think I'm a better work in progress now. The incredible part about this weekend for Easter um, is my favorite part is when the pastor or Whoever standing there in front of the church gets to say, He is risen, and everybody says, He is risen indeed. Christ died for you, or since He died for you, He died for me, He died, He died, He paid the ultimate sacrifice so that you don't have to spend the rest of your life locked up, not go anywhere, not be able to, you know, walk around, move, do anything. That paid your bail. That's what He did with His life. Paid your bail.